Today, we are gonna fulfill a bucket list experience. <laughs> Eight years ago, our oldest was obsessed with watching trains. And then our youngest became obsessed. And during that time, I also became obsessed. Yeah, we all did. Uh, we, we watched every kind of YouTube video about riding all kinds of different steam trains. And one that kept creeping up to the top was the Durango and Silverton train in Colorado. And we watched that over and over again. Oh, yeah. And uh, I just said one day, you know what, boys, we're going to ride that train. And Reset Your Journey has given us that opportunity. Then, you know, we're out in Colorado. Why not ride the Durango and Silverton? So we book it and we ride it and it is all that. We're here at the Durango and Silverton narrow gauge railway and we're gonna ride the steam train. Are we ready, Durango boys? and Silverton. Yeah. I didn't sleep a wink. No, I don't think anyone slept. Let's go. Parking is $8 for cars and trucks. We didn't bring our RV, but the parking lot does allow for it and costs $10. We're boarding the train. There's two different cars you can ride in on this trip. The open air gondola or the enclosed coach. We ended up riding the enclosed coach because the open air car was all booked up. Make sure to book this train six months in advance to get the car you want. Every seat is a good seat because the train turns around at the canyon. There are bathrooms on the train and they worked exactly like our RV. These narrow gauge rails are 36 inches apart versus the standard tracks, which are 56 and a half inches. We'll let him stay on. <laughs> Maybe. In 2020, the trains were converted from burning coal to burning locally sourced recycled fuel oil. There's a couple ways you can ride this train. You can take the train up to the town of Silverton, which is nine hours round trip, or you can take the Cascade Canyon <laughs> Express, which is five hours round trip. And that's the one we did. That's the one we felt which was best for our family. Oh yeah, five hours uh, when you've got uh, kids. Uh, and let me tell you, at the end of the, the last hour, mm -hmm. we my butt ready. was done. We were ready, yeah. But let's say this about Cascade Canyon. It is absolutely gorgeous, and it is worth the 45 minutes that you spend there. Um, if you're into having a meal and like getting a drink and doing that thing in the town, maybe Silverton might be better for you, but if you really just want to see nature, mm -hmm. then Cascade Canyon might be the best choice. But you know, choose which adventure works best for you. The stop at Cascade Canyon was absolutely gorgeous, and we had 30 to 45 minutes to explore and dip our feet into the wonderful cool water. My feet fell in. Look at my wetness. Here we are at the Cascade Canyon where the train stopped, and this is amazing. This is gorgeous. Highly recommend the Cascade Express train, the Durango. It's a little bit shorter. Ooh, in duration, and that's our call to get back on the train. Here we go. This train ride was definitely a unique way to see the beautiful scenery of the San Juan National Forest and the Animas River. Wow, what a day. It was awesome. We knew it was going to be a great experience, but it totally exceeded our expectations. And all the video and pictures seeing it like that just doesn't do its justice. You need to come and check this train out. Oh, it's, it's phenomenal. I encourage you to make all the effort you can to ride this train. Even if you're not a fan of riding trains, just to see the scenery that is, is as good as you would expect it to be from some of the other videos, it's awesome. It is awesome and it is expensive experience. It was about $300 for our family of four, but because we boondock and we save money that way, we can afford to do these bucket list experiences. Well, that's the whole point in boondocking, saving money so you can do things and not just have another mortgage, right? Right. 
and we when we got off the train we were really hungry and tired and we got off and we went in search of a restaurant to eat at in the cute town but we didn't have luck getting in right away. We would have had to wait quite a while because- Like an hour wait? Everyone getting off the train, they all had the same idea. So be aware of that. If you ride that train <laughs> you get off and you're like, oh, we're gonna walk over and have a have a meal. It's gonna be a serious wait unless you can get off that train and, and book you know, it. <laughs> book it to a restaurant. Yeah, but all in all, a great experience. For sure, I'd do it again. Thanks for watching. If you're really enjoying these videos, we hope that you'll consider subscribing, giving a like, a comment, hit that bell for weekly reminders of our videos. We're keeping it real here. Oh, I'm, I'm keeping it very real. I, I never had the intention of acting for anyone on the camera. So this is what it is like living on the road. Everything that we show you is legit. So we'll keep it that way. I really, really appreciate yeah. the fact that you are watching us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.